Praise God. Well, good morning. It's Wednesday morning. It's Wednesday, so that means we have church tonight. Amen. 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 Seven o'clock. So we encourage you to come and hear the word. We also have youth service at that time, and uh, I know that you'll be blessed. It's that time in the middle of the week to get refreshed. That's you what know, we Marcia? talked about last yeah. week. When it, yeah. I, I mentioned that. I said, we need to get filled back up. So yes. we, it's like... Uh, in the work working world, they say it's hump day. Yeah. You made it through Wednesday, but sometimes you need that extra uh, in filling uh, the Word of God in your life to, to really just get, through. get you through the yeah. rest of the week. Amen. Yeah. So our scripture today is, uh, uh, the, the title is, God is my shepherd in John 10, 14 through 16. And he, Jesus says this, if you have a red letter edition Bible, this is in red. It says, I alone am the good shepherd. And I know whose hearts are mine. Oh, I like that. Mm. He knows, he knows whose hearts are his. Mm. For they recognize me and know me just as my father knows my heart and I know my father's heart. I'm ready to give my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that I will gather which are not of this Jewish flock. Thank God. Yes, he has a Gentile flock, right? We're, we're, the, Gentile. <laughs> we're the Gentile flock. We're and the cousins. <laughs> and, <laughs> no. We're the cousins. And I, their shepherd, must lead them too. And they will follow me and listen to my voice. And I will join them into one flock with one shepherd. Oh, praise, praise God. God. One it. day we're going to come together and there's going to be neither Greek nor Jew nor barbarian or whatever, you know, right. we're all going to be one flock. Amen. And, you know, it's so neat because he is our shepherd, and he has under shepherds under him to feed the flock. But, you know, I want to share a story, then we'll get back to this, but this story really ministered to me as about a person who owned a, a, a sheep or a lamb, and the, they were out in the field, and a rattlesnake, who I would allude to as like Satan, came up and bit, just struck the uh, sheep on the face. And I mean, the, the lamb, they said, shook it off, or the sheep shook it off. And the sheep, his face just swelled up huge. But he went about his business eating. And the, 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 per, the shepherd that was taking care of him made this statement. The blood of the lamb kills <laughs> the poison of the snake. And it can't stop him. And so he goes about his business. And that just ministered to me. Oh, man. Because the blood Woo. of the lamb flows through us. Hallelujah. And when Satan tries to slap us, bite at us, or hurt us, it can hurt us. Amen. It may wound us for a little bit, but we come back because we belong to the shepherd. Amen, Amen. boy. I'll tell you. Woo, that'll preach. I'm telling you that. Preach. That'll preach that. In fact, the they blood say, of the lamb. They say they take uh, the blood from the sheep and make the. Um, Venom. The anti-venom anti -venom. for rattlesnake bites because that's what saves you, you know, from that. So look at that. The blood of the lamb saves people from, Amen. Amen. from rattlesnake Praise bites. God. But even more than that, let's look at the spiritual ramifications. Yeah, he's, you know, he's our shepherd. And it's interesting that Jesus says that in John 10. And really he's alluding back to David in Psalm uh, 23, 1. It says, the Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He's He's called the good shepherd. Amen. He's called Where the good sheep? shepherd. Amen. And we got his blood flowing through us. Amen. Well, he never abandons his sheep. Amen. He fights every enemy. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's the shepherd. A sheep is defenseless. That's right. It, if he didn't have a shepherd, he to would be open to all prey. That's right. Oh, my, I tell you, I see, I see a, a lot of people, they have no shepherds. That's right. And they're open to the attack of the That's enemy right. everywhere. I, we've said it many times. You, you will see someone going through something tragic and we'll say, do they have a, 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 a church family? No. Do they know Jesus? No. Yeah. It's like, yeah. how do you survive without Jesus? I don't understand. You, you have no shepherd. You have no one that can encourage you, that can pray with you, that can be there with you. That's you right. Know, and, That's uh, right. And You're so, going through it alone. Yeah, alone. Right. Amen. And the well, devil wants you that way, divided and conquered. Well, we need to just keep it in our heart that God is a good shepherd to us, and he is called the good shepherd. That means yeah. he watches over us. And I want to tell you, he's watching over you. Somebody today, you're facing a serious challenge in your life. Yeah. But here's what I want you to know. You're his sheep. He's your shepherd. 
He will take over. He will defend you. He will uh, protect you. He will provide for you. He will defend you, protect you, and provide you for you in your life. You just have to trust him that he'll do that. Amen. Amen. Receive that now in Jesus' name. God bless you. We love you. Have a blessed day today. Amen.